I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. So, all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. We want no cowards in our camp. In our camp. It's already separating it right there if you look at the word playing that sentence. Many nations telling you that there's differences right there. Now here you go. The Hittites, uh -huh. the Girgashites, uh -huh. the Amorites, uh -huh. and the Canaanites, uh -huh. and the Perizzites, uh -huh. and the Hippites, uh -huh. and the Jebusites. Uh -huh. Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Now who are them nations that the Lord just named? None of those nations are nations of Israel. None of those nations are black natives and Hispanics. The Lord just named heathen nations. The Lord just named nations not to join with. These are nations that are not gang. These are nations that are not a part of us. These are nations that are not the blood as me. These are nations that are not blood of my blood and flesh of my flesh. Not bone of my bone. The Lord just named these. Read verse 2. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee. Uh -huh. Now these nations is, is, is greater than us. Why? And it's a reason. We're going to get to it. Thou shalt smite them uh -huh. and utterly destroy them. Uh -huh. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. Now, once again, we're not advocating that you go out and you harm anybody, right? We're not advocating that, right? But however, the scripture said, make no covenant with these nations. Black man, this is something you got to understand. The Black Lives Matter movement is a covenant with the, with the heathen. The, the Black Panthers made a covenant with the heathen. The Christian church made a covenant with the heathen. You got to understand, you look left and right up in here, you're not seeing no heathens here. These is all blacks, natives, and Hispanics. These are all children of the Lord. These is all black, these are all children of Israel. These are all princes of the power, man. You understand? And what the, what the brother's saying, I want you all never to misunderstand it. We ain't telling nobody to go smite anybody now, not because we Christians, and not because we're non-violent. We're very much violent. We're not Christians up here. What we're telling you is, the Bible says there's a time and a season for everything. That's right. There's a time to plant and a time to reap. There's a time to be born and there's a time to die. There's a time to put down and there's a time to pluck up that which is put down. There will be a time when we will run through these streets and smite. Now is not that time though. Now is the time to fish and teach our people. What sense would it make? to rise up against your oppressor and shed their blood when we have different philosophies in our mind. When Farrakhan still leading us to serve the damn Arabs. When T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar and Al Sharpton telling us to love America. What sense would it make to destroy the oppressor when we not one body, when we not one nation? Huh? What sense would it make when you have all our celebrities and all our rich and powerful taking part in interracial marriages like Serena Williams, huh? What sense would it make? We first got to come together as one people under one God. When that happens, Christ is going to return from the sky and lead this charge because he is our king. You know what the, what the difference between us and the other nations are? They have a leadership. Trump is a leader for America. He loves white people and he'll go to war for them. And he'll give the order to shed blood. The Chinese got Kim Jong-un. The Koreans got a different one. The Germans got a different one. Black men, who is your leader? Huh? Hispanic men, who is your leader? 
Native Indian man, who is your leader? Our leader is Christ, man. He's our king. The Bible said he is the king of kings and lord of lords. The Bible also said when he returns, his vesture will be dipped in blood. We ain't Christian up here. We are very violent, extremely violent. But we will defend our nation and our people. That's right. What we're saying is that we are not ever going to, to hit back. That time is coming. That time is absolutely coming. And when that time comes, America, Germany, UK, United Nations, I don't give a damn which white empire you serve. You will not be able to blame anybody but the Most High God of the Bible. That's right. God will bring death and destruction to these nations. Right. God will bathe and flood the streets of these empires in their blood. He will drown them in their blood. Not because of the color of their skin or their blue eyes or their blonde hair, but because of the crimes they have done against black people. There will be a day of reckoning for Trayvon Martin. Right. There will be a day of reckoning for Sandra Bland and Breonna Taylor. Give me some more. Eric Garner, who else? Emmett, uh, Emmett Hill, Hill. Philando Castile, Laquan McDonald. Say again. Both from John. Tatiana Jefferson. There will be a day of reckoning. Sandra Bland, but that day is not today. Today is the day to put down the goddamn blunt. Right. How are you going to fight when you hide? Huh? How you gonna fight when you hide? How how you gonna stand in war when you need a cigarette break? Huh? So 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 you gonna fire bullets to kill your enemy? <laughs> but if he got a blunt, you gonna let him live? <laughs> you gonna go up to him, death to you, devil? Oh, let me hit that. Huh? You're weak. I'm telling you it because I know I used to get high too. Weed makes you weak. It takes away your masculinity. It lowers. It literally lowers your testosterone. And men need testosterone. When it lowers your testosterone, you become more feminine, right. more passive. Right. You go and do your research on the Vietnam War. You know why America said they lost the Vietnam War? Because soldiers became drug addicts and lost the will to fight. You can't be a drug addict and stand for your people. Right. How are we going to go fight our oppressor when some of us are homosexuals and lesbians? Right. Huh? Right. What are we going to do? We going to fight for a nation that ain't producing? How are we going to do that? Two lesbians can make babies, two homosexuals can make babies. How are we going to rise up against our oppressor and we ain't got no future generation to fight for? So in, in, so what you say? We're going to fight for your, your homosexual lust? Now nah, damn that. You show me you ready to fight your own lust, I'll show you how to fight your oppressor. That's right. Where is Bond? You show me you're ready to put that blunt down, I'll show you how to fight your oppressor. Where is Bond? You show me you're ready to get out the damn strip clubs and go take your woman out the strip clubs, I'm going to show you how to fight, and not only fight, but enslave your oppressor. Yes, Thus saith the Bible. So make no mistake, we ain't Christian. But now is not the time for it. But that time is coming. Let me give you one more warning. In that day, God is a gangster. Let me tell you that straight up. God is the biggest gangster on the face of the earth. In that day, when the Lord is ready to do a drive-by on this earth, if you standing with your oppressor, you are going to die with your oppressor. Do you understand me? My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Hand Lord to every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.